Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Dar Nevergal, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight we're in Arlington for a big time BBC matchup between the Pandora Gilboa Rockets and the home team, the Arlington Red Devils. Dar, excited to be with you. The BBC always seems to be pretty competitive at the top, and this season no different than the rest. Right now, Pandora Gilboa comes in 11 and 2, 5 and 0 in the. BVC Arlington nine and four, but four and one in the BVC. So both these teams are looking for maybe a shot at that title. Oh, absolutely! And right now, you know, they're chasing Liberty Benton, who's undefeated at twelve and zero and five and zero in the BVC. But you know, Arlington's already played Liberty Benton. Pantoja still got them on the schedule yet. So who knows? But this is two really good teams out there between Arlington and Pandora. Both of them very physical, very you know upbeat on the scoring and on defense as well. Early steal from Derek Mag. We'll get you the starting lineups momentarily, but in the meantime, it's a basket from Jake Mag as he opens scoring on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Pandora wearing the white uniforms tonight. Pardon me, they're wearing the gray. Arlington wearing the white. They start with Jake Vermillion, Caden Russell, Brady King, Jared Griggs, and Ryler Essinger. This is Vermillion inside. Jake able to dribble away from the pressure. Pandora starts with Colin Harris, Aiden Harris, Aiden Morris, Derek Mag, and Jake Mag. And if you have a, an old roster sitting at your house and you're confused who 20 is, 20 is Derek Mag for Pandora. Normally wears two, but his jersey numbered different today as we have our first foul of the ball game. Yeah, his jersey got tore in his last game, so they had to switch him off and give him a new jersey. But uh, you see Riley Essinger going to the line now for uh, Arlington. Essinger just a 65, you know, percent free throw shooter. Makes that one. He averages 11.2 points per game. The senior big man for Arlington, 56% from two point range. Gets both of those to go to tie the score at two. Yeah, these two teams, you know, if you look down through the BBC, they just lead in all kinds of categories between the two of them. If they're not number one in that category, they're number two in that category. You know, so that's why you expect a lot of offense. You know, you look at Pandora Gabo, first in the BBC and so many different things, you know. Rockets on offense here with their leading scorer, Aiden Harris. He gives the ball up. It's swung around to Aiden Morris. Morris and Harris, the wide receiver tandem on the football field. Here's Colin Harris inside off the glass, and he's fouled. So two free throws coming up for Colin. Colin and Aiden are twin brothers. But, Dar, you said it. Pandora first in the BBC in, what is it, five different categories, I believe. Yeah, five different categories, second in the BBC in three other categories, and third in the fewest turnovers per, per contest as well. First free throw, no good. But then you look at Arlington coming in. They're second in the BBC in scoring offense. Pandora Gilbo is first in scoring offense. So that's why you can you can expect either a high-scoring game or a low-scoring game, depending on which ones want to show up, because they're also lead in, in scoring defense on both of them. Both these teams coached by longtime head coaches, not all at their respective schools, although Coach Vermillion has been here at Arlington for quite a long time. Mike Lee for Pandora is relatively new to the program, but not new to coaching. He comes from Van Buren, but has also coached down in Minster as we have a travel against the Rockets. Yep. Interesting note also is Mike Lee's brother, Dennis, is an assistant football coach here at Arlington. Yes, he is. Longtime coach at Bluffton. That's the first turnover now for the Rockets, each team with one turnover. Essinger inside, now kicks it out, swung over to Vermillion. He goes baseline, then hands it back to Jared Griggs. Three to two early on here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Inside goes Vermillion, and he's fouled. Got a lot of free throws in this one already. That foul called against number 20, Derek Mag. That's his first team second. And this is a guy you don't want to foul. He's a 95% free throw shooter. First free throw, good. Vermillion averages 12.9 points per game to lead the way for Arlington this season. 
shoots 55% from two-point range and 36% from beyond the arc. Yeah, he's first in the BBC in free throw percentage, second in three-point goals. He's averaging about two and a half threes a game. A turnover as Griggs heads the other way for Arlington. Goes inside, Vermillion. Now pull-up jumper from Brady Kin. That goes from beyond the arc. Kin, a 35% three-point shooter, leads the team in attempts and drains out. More pressure up top. Pandora able to keep the ball. Nice dump off and an easy basket inside as Derek Mag gets a second bucket. First bucket, rather. Yeah, that's his first one tonight. 77 to 5 Arlington at this stage. But like I said, this is very up tempo, but you're looking at two very well coached teams out there, two very fundamentally sound teams. Not much flow to this one as we've got another foul call. That one's against Caden Russell. He'll shoot two as the foul was called against Aiden Morris, his first. Team third against the Rockets. So more free throws coming up in this game. Think about Mike Lee and the coaching pedigree in his family. He's been a longtime head coach. Dennis Lee, obviously very successful on the hardwood with the Bluffton women, or girls, excuse me, in the high school level. Also coached football, and now he's an assistant football coach here at Arlington and an assistant basketball coach for the women at Bluffton University. They have a sister who's a head coach at the collegiate level and another brother who coached over in Van Loo for a long time. So a family of coaches as the Rockets tie it up with an Aiden Morris bucket. And now a steal. And an easy bucket there, Aiden Harris. That's now five different Pandora players in scoring column. Every one of their starters has points on the board. With that, the Rockets take the lead. Arlington the other way. Nice little dump off to Essinger. He loses it on his way up. Pass was kicked away and stays with the Devils. Deep three on its way. Splash. Oh, boy. Brady Kinn knocks in his second. He's two for two from beyond the arc. Yeah, he came into this game 26 for 74, a 35% free th or three point shooter. But you can't leave him open like that out there, boys. He'll, he'll burn you every time. Colin Harris passes out to Aiden Harris. Aiden dribbles on the wing. Nice little hezzy, pulls up, off the glass and in. That's four points now for Harris, averaging 17.2 points a game. Harris, an extremely efficient player, 61% from inside the arc, 41% from outside the arc on 46 attempts this season. In fact, we'll talk about it later, but this Rocket team can really hit from outside if you leave them open. Meanwhile, Arlington losing the handle, now taken away. Here's Colin Harris. Colin right past the defender oh my. and puts it in. Colin now with three points. That's three turnovers now for uh, Arlington. Rockets lead 13-10. Here's Essinger on the wing. Now shifts it over to Russell. Jake Vermillion, son of Coach Jason Vermillion. Ryler Essinger backs his way inside. Yeah, I don't know what they'd do if they didn't have a Vermillion playing basketball <laughs> here. There's a Vermillion brother on the bench, an assistant coach as Ryler Essinger goes oh up my. and called for the offensive foul. That was a lot of contact as number 10, Aiden Morris, lost his shoe. First foul against Essinger, second against the Devils with 2.16 to go in the first quarter. Yeah, we talked about how physical this game could get. The referees are going to make sure that that doesn't happen because these teams really go at it whenever they're playing against each other. That all comes down to the defenses that they play because they really are ball hawking defenses and they go after every ball they can get. They deny every shot. Rockets on offense, long two-point jumper 
Off the front of the rim, no good, but an offensive board. The putback off glass and no good. Essinger pulls in the rebound. Now quickly ahead, transition three-pointer. Look out. Jake Vermillion knocks it in. He has five, and he ties it at 13. Vermillion, a 36.5% three-point shooter. Now ball on the wing, and you can tell Arlington trying to challenge Nate Mag to shoot the ball. Took one on the last possession, doesn't want to take one again. That three goes, too much space for Aiden Harris. We talked about it, he shoots 41% from outside. Now listen, Derek Mag shoots 46% from outside on 39 attempts. Colin Harris shoots 35%, which is very respectable. Aiden Morris near 40%. And you look down the list, I mean, there, there are a lot of really good shooters. Zach Neuenschwander will come off the bench. He shoots 42% from outside. Yeah, they have the top three three-point shooting percentage-wise in the BBC. Their team three-point percentage is 37.4. A nice, strong attack by Nate Mag going right through Essinger for the basket. That's Nate Mag's first basket. He's averaging 5.1 points a game. Says this Pandora team coming in averaging almost 61 points a game, only giving up just over 40 points a game. On the flip side, you've got Arlington averaging almost 60 points a game and only giving up around 43 points a game. Arlington had the ball knocked away from them as two mags enter the game. Nate and Jake enter for the Rockets, and Luke Metzger comes in for Arlington. Ken will inbound, hits Essinger. Essinger makes his way inside, tripped over someone's foot, but able to keep his balance and get the ball over to Jake Vermillion. Vermillion's gonna pull it back out, gonna set up their offense again. Like I said, the, both these teams play really good half-court offense as well. Russell not able to hit, one second left, and Harris will just dribble it out, and so, after one quarter of action, it's 18 to 13. The Rockets on top right here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says, go Rockets. Welcome back to Arlington where the Rockets lead 18 to 13 on that Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Evan Skilleter, Dar Nevergal with you. On the cameras, Mia Waddle and Kelsey Beimer. Rockets back to work on offense. Catch and shoot, three oh, goes. How about Aiden Harris? Second three of the night. Harris up to 10 points, 21 to 13. The Rockets on top. That's a tough three-point shot to defend against, too, because he gets this good elevation off of it. Quick release off the top of the shot. And a good bucket right there as Russell goes right through some contact. Gets his first basket of the night. Talked about the pace. Rockets already down to the baseline. Now they'll shift it up top. Colin Harris goes to the rack. A foul, but they say on the ground. That'll be number three against Arlington. Should go against Jake Vermillion, I believe. Aiden Harris will inbound. It's Colin. Now a mid range jumper. That's off the front. No good from Jake Mag. Here comes Caden Russell. Red Devil slowing it down a little bit, trying to collect themselves. Down by six already. Russell, Essinger. Nice dump off back to Russell. Now a good pass to Vermillion, but his shot short. Essinger grabs the offensive board. Good ball movement, and that one no good from Brady Kinn. Yeah, they got to knock in those shots because they can't give them. Pandora Gilbo, that many opportunities. Oh, 
Aiden Harris picks up his dribble, now gets it out to Collin. Rockets only with two losses on their schedule against Kaleida and Ottaville. Two pretty good Putnam County teams as well. And that pass goes out of bounds. They were trying to hit Jake Mag, but he was trying to set a screen. So Arlington gets possession as Zach Neuenschwander checks in for the Rockets. Now there's three common opponents between these two teams in North Baltimore, Clyde, and Arcadia. Pandora lost to Clyde. Arlington happened to beat Clyde, so that's one right there. There's both of them knocked off Arcadia with no problem. And both of them knocked off North Baltimore with no problem. Vermillion dribbles up top. 5.48 to go, second quarter. Now Luke Metzger, his pass tipped away. Good read there by Jake Mag. Ball stays with Arlington on the baseline. One of Arlington's losses, like I said, was delivered to Benton by, but only 43-41. So they only lost to two to the top team in the league. Good move from Ryler Essinger. He has four points, and he gets Arlington back to within four. Skip pass to the corner. Nice extra one over to Derek Mag, but he's not able to hit. Boy, well, Essinger, he's just a strong player underneath. He's got nice moves for a big guy, too. Vermillion with some space, not able to hit, but another offensive board. The putback no good. Vermillion gets it. Now a three from the wing. That goes. Luke Metzger knocks it in. That's Metzger's first basket, and he makes it a three-pointer. He's just seven for 31 coming into this one, so that makes him feel good hitting that three. Maybe that'll get him going out there. Inside shot, no good from Aiden Morris. Ball went out of bounds, last touch by Arlington. Now three Rockets will check in. Nate Mag, Owen Huffman, and Aiden Harris all checking in. I mean, this was an 18 to 13 game at the end of the first quarter, and it's now down to a 21-20 game. Arlington making a nice little comeback. And doing it methodically, not yep. all at once. Not all at once. It's chipping away. Ball up top with Owen Huffman. Now a three from Aiden Harris, no good. Good pressure, and who's it off of? Last touch by Arlington. Unofficially, that's five turnovers now for Arlington. Just three for Pandora. Ball in. This is Owen Huffman. Huffman has it stripped away. Good effort defensively taken away by Jared Griggs. Now Brady Griggs at the other end. Nice oh, ball nice movement job. and a good basket by Luke Metzger. Full court pressure now from Arlington. Jared Griggs guards Colin Harris full court. Travel called against the Rockets. That's Aiden Morris taking the extra step. Two quick turnovers for Pandora Gilboa. That's a little unusual for this team. Like you said, they come in with the fewest turnovers in the game, only averaging about 11 and a half turnovers per contest. We knew we'd be in a tough physical battle here in this gymnasium. And sends it inside for Essinger. He turns, fires, good touch from the big man. Well, he's got some nice moves on that. That's kind of like a little flip hook shot of some kind. Essinger up to six points, and it gives Arlington a 24-21 lead. Rockets go inside. Now mid-range jumper. That, no good. 
from Nate Mag. Essinger quickly the other way. Essinger all the way to the basket. Wild shot, no good, but an offensive foul called. Or sorry, defensive foul called on the rebound. And that's one thing that's really got Arlington back into this game is rebounding. They're out rebounding Pandora right now. And they're getting the second opportunity shot, sometimes three shots at the basket. Essinger goes inside, and we've got a foul against Arlington. That'll be number, pardon me, that's against the Rockets. That'll be number five against them, foul and it's the first called against Nate Mag. Substitution for the Rockets, number 40, Jake Mag. So Jake Mag checks in for Nate Mag. Vermillion will inbound. Get a little frustration on the Rockets' part. When Essinger keeps going into the middle like that, and they keep drawing fouls. Essinger dribbles up top, sends it up to Caden Russell. Two and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Nice fake in the corner. Got the big guy playing point guard now. He can do it all. Vermillion gets inside, but has it knocked away. Rockets go inside. They fall. Look at it. Nice physical basketball game. And a jump ball. That's going to go to Arlington. Rockets giving a full court defensive look. Now if you're going to go inside with the basketball, you better be ready for it because you're going to run into a lot of different opposition underneath there. Three-pointer from the corner. Luke Metzger oh, knocks it down. Out, man. That's his second three-pointer. Metzger, only a 22% three-point shooter, but he's two for two tonight. Now Owen Huffman. Outside for Aiden Morris. Rockets need to get something going here. Only two points in this second quarter. That one goes. Colin Harris gets the bucket. He has five points. 27-23 now on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. 95 seconds to play. Well, you can tell the experience of these two coaches out there because neither one of these teams panicked when they got behind. You know, they just methodically, like you said, Evan, just went about their business. You know, Arlington just, you know, kept playing the game until they got back in the game and took the lead. Pandora doing the same thing right now. It wasn't 95. It was 75 seconds, but now we're down to 53. Mm -hmm. Had to correct the math. Deep three from Vermillion's blocked. And rebound ultimately pulled in by the Rockets, and it will be the fourth team foul against Arlington. They get it against... Foul number 25, Jared Griggs. Jared Griggs, that's his second. 45.8 on the clock. Brady Kinn checks in for Arlington. Nine total fouls here in the first half between the two teams. Harris over to Morris, thought about a three, pulls it down with 36 on the clock. Hand check on the side. Foul, Foul number three. five against Arlington. The first against Kin. Substitute will check in. That's 34, Mason Cavaney. And Brady Griggs checks in for Arlington. And Cavaney, a junior, six foot three, so they're getting a little bit of height in there. Ball with Aiden Morris. Pass knocked away, but Colin Harris brings it in. Now Aiden Harris, back to Colin. Colin with the spin, he can't finish. And it's a rebound to Arlington. Caden Russell pulls it in. 13 on the clock, three on the way. Brady Kinn, splash. Oh my goodness. Three 
Third three-pointer for Brady Ken. Three seconds on the clock. Ball knocked away by Arlington with 1.7. 30 to 23. Arlington on top. A barrage of threes. And a deep shot. No good. And your first half comes to an end with Arlington on top. 30 to 23. We will step aside, but we'll be right back with more on WOSN after this. Your scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Hope you didn't blink. That first half took about 15 minutes <laughs> yeah, of real time, yeah. it felt like. And we are at halftime with the score 30 to 23. And hey, look at what's going on on this court now. It's obviously good to get the young guys ready to play basketball. But how about the young guy with the whistle calling the travel right there? The, the correct call, mind you, holding these guys accountable. I love it. That's yeah. fantastic. And you're watching when he takes the ball, brings the ball out of bounds to the guys. You know, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. He does indeed. So, Dar, let's talk about the first half a little bit. The first quarter score favored Pandora by quite a bit, but that was a really good second quarter from Arlington getting back into it and ultimately taking this seven-point lead. Yes, it was. Well, it was 18-13 at the end of the first quarter in favor of the Rockets, but it was 17-5 second quarter for Arlington. You know, gave them that seven-point lead that they've got right now. And like you said, Evan, they just methodically came back. They didn't panic. You know, well-coached team, and they just, you know, kept shooting the ball. Rebounding was the biggest thing. They, they started to grab rebounds. They got second and third opportunities at the basket. They hit a couple of them, you know, and that kind of turned the momentum around. But shooting-wise, you know, right now, you know, looking at uh, three-point shots, you know, Arlington six for 11 from three-point range. So they're pretty dominated out there. Brady Ken with three three-pointers in that first half and nine points. So... You know, if they can keep that pace up. Now, Pandora, as we said, a great three-point shooting team. So this could turn around in a heartbeat. Thank you, Dar. Again, a good look at the future of Arlington and the future of Northwest Ohio referees. And maybe a travel there. Might have missed one, but I'll tell you what, he's called a good game so far. We're going to step aside. Five minutes to go till the second half. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Arlington High School for the start of the second half as the Red Devils lead the traveling Pandora Gilboa Rockets 30 to 23 in an early foul called here. Foul on number one, Jake That's against Jake Vermillion, his second team first. Yeah, but in that first half, you had 10 points for Aiden Harris to lead Pandora Gilboa. You had nine points by Brady Ken to lead uh, Arlington. And some good footwork inside as Jake Mag goes around Essinger for the basket. That's Mag's fourth point of the game, his second, first basket of the second half. Back to within five are the Rockets, 30 seconds into this half. Arlington moves it around. This is Vermillion. Yeah, they're keeping an eye on Essinger underneath the basket. So he's got two guys on him most of the time when he's under there. Now he comes out, he'll handle it up top. We saw this from Arlington toward the end of the half as they just weave around the perimeter. They find a seam, they go inside and try to draw help. Hit a guy in the corner, we'll see what happens here. Nothing there for Vermillion. They try a backdoor cut for Russell. Vermillion back to Essinger. Essinger backs his way inside. Might have traveled, but no call as it's sent back out for Russell. I think Arlington's just going to stick with it. Yeah, it's an interesting, you know, segment here for Arlington because, you know, they're really not even breaking anybody towards the basket. They're just kind of weaving on the outside. Pull-up jumper from Russell, no good. Rebound ends up with 25. That's Jared Griggs. He's not able to finish. Now the Rockets come the other way. Morris to the basket. No call somehow. The Rockets don't finish the second attempt. I'm not sure... What game we're watching here? 
Inside, now a nice pass to the corner. Good transition defense from the Rockets, but they let the baseline open, and a finish through contact. That's Kin to the basket. Brady Kin, a pedestrian two-pointer there. <laughs> After three three-pointers in the first half, that's his first bucket here in the second half. That's right, 11 points for Kin, looking for 12 here, and gets it. Yeah, 73% free throw shooter, so. 33-25, Arlington on top. Rockets fans still giving the referees an earful. Morris picks up his dribble and a little bit of trouble here. His pass tipped away. Jake Vermillion with the steal. Vermillion inside, goes up, doesn't finish. That's seven turnovers for the Rockets. So far, first one of the second half. Six turnovers for Arlington. They haven't turned the ball over yet here in the second half. Morris goes inside to Jake Mag and gets it back. Here's Colin Harris. Harris all oh the way to the rack, goodness. weaves through the defense and scores. What a move by Harris because he just sliced right through there. Vermillion, the three in transition, knocks it down. Eight points now for Vermillion. 36-27 the score. Aiden Harris with it up top. Over to Aiden Morris now. Colin Harris gets it. Colin goes baseline and he's fouled. A foul against 25, Jared Griggs, his third. Second against the Red Devils, and so Griggs will have a seat replaced by Luke Metzger. I'll tell you what, Evan, the uh, volume in this gymnasium has gone up considerably in the last two minutes. And I'll tell you what, this is a hostile environment, especially if you're a referee. But it's been a great game for these fans and another catch. Another shot, and Aiden Harris knocks it down. He is so smooth off the catch. That's 12 points now for Harris, his first basket of the second half. Vermillion, the step back three. That's no good. Arlington with the offensive board. Passing her gives to Vermillion. Right now, they're just trading punches and, and baskets. Here's Russell. Russell has it knocked away. Credit Colin Harris with the steal. He's going to go for the basket block from behind, and the follow-up no good, but a foul. And that will send 34 Nate Mag to the line, a 70% free throw shooter. Foul on number 10, Brady Kinn, second. It's a second against Brady Kinn, third against Arlington. First one, no good. Number five, Owen Huffman. Owen Huffman That shot a little short and off the front of the rim. Mag trying to make it a six-point game, and does. 36-30. Zach Neuenschwander checks in for the Rockets. He replaces Aiden Harris, Morris, excuse me. Caden Russell over to Essinger on the elbow. Brady Kinn sends it over to Vermillion. He's guarded by Neuenschwander. See Essinger throwing a screen out there on that play and try to get around that guy. Yeah, no thank you. That jump shot's blocked, but a nice pass inside. Jake Vermillion cuts and scores. Ten points for Vermillion. Have five here on the second half. Colin Harris crosses the timeline with just over three to play in the third quarter. 
And if I'm not mistaken, that block was the first block that Pandora's had this season. That ball goes out of bounds. It's the second time we've seen a shot by Nate Mag with a foot on the line. Neither have gone in. We'll have an inbound from the baseline. This will be Aiden Harris over the top to Colin. Colin floats it up. Can't hit, and it'll stay with the Rockets once again. Aiden Harris will inbound again. Sends it over the top to Colin. Aiden gets it back. Aiden spins. Jumper is wow. good. My goodness. He is smooth with the jump shot. And a timeout taken by the Rockets. 2.39 on the clock. Rockets within six. It's 38-32. Arlington on top on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Welcome back to Arlington where the score is 38-32 in favor of the host Red Devils. Evan Skilleter, Darn Evergall with you. Mia Waddle and Kelsey Beimer on the cameras tonight. Nice pass inside to Essinger off the screen, not able to finish. The Rockets trying to Cut into this gap even more. Here's Owen Huffman and an offensive foul. The first against Huffman, second against the Rockets. Some substitutes coming in for the Rockets as Aiden Morris checks in with Jake Mag. Well, we knew this was going to be a physical game. It always is when Arlington and Pandora match up against each other, and certainly is tonight. Ball swung around to Caden Russell. Russell the skip over to Jake Vermillion. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Arlington content to play their game right now, and that's just basically just you know, run the offense, you know, get the best shot you can get. Don't hurry anything at all. Caden Russell taking his time now over the top. Knocked away nicely there by Jake Mag. Nice long arms from Jake Mag. The Rockets get another possession. That one almost taken away, but Colin Harris able to grab it and his pass tipped. Stays with the Rockets. 128 on the clock. Again, that's an aggressive defense by Arlington. Boy, you got to keep an eye on them because they'll, they'll reach in behind you, they'll reach out in front of you. Another ball knocked out of bounds, stays with Pandora. And you're right, I, I feel like the Arlington pressure has really picked up, honestly, since the first quarter when they fell behind. They really started to pick up that pressure and make things tough on this Rocket squad. And an oh. offensive foul. That's the second one in a row there. Colin Harris picks up his third, and he's going to have to take a seat. Derek Mag checks in for him. Oh, no, pardon me. He's going to stay on the court, and Neuenschwander will step out for Mag. Also for the Rockets, number five, Owen Huffman. Now we get a sub for Colin as Owen Huffman checks in. Yeah, they've, been, they've really picked up their defense a lot, the Red Devils have. And they're going to have to in this game just to you know, stay out in front of this Rocket team. Vermillion's three no good on the pick and pop. Aiden Harris pulls in the rebound. He's double teamed in the front court, back court, excuse me. Rocket's able to break the pressure. Here's Aiden. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Still a six-point lead for Arlington on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. This Rocket team can score in bunches, so yeah, you got to watch where they're at. That's one of the keys that Vermillion had for this game was we got to know where their shooters are at all the time. We just can't let somebody out there open. Pass for Aiden Morris is knocked away. Ends up with Ryler Essinger. 
So now Arlington with a chance for the last shot of the quarter. They lead 38-32. As much action as we've had here in this third quarter, Pandora has not only been able to knock one point off of that disadvantage they had. It's Caden Russell. Swinging the ball around, Vermillion's three off the front, no good at the buzzer. And that does it for the third quarter, 38-32, Arlington on top. But an exciting fourth quarter coming up after the break right here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. That was a 9-8 advantage for uh, Pandora Gabo there in the third quarter, but not enough really to cut too much into this lead. We talked about whether or not it's going to be a high-scoring game or a defensive struggle. Right now it's turned into a defensive struggle. Both teams playing good defense, but Pandora not able to hit some of the shots that they would normally be knocking down. And Arlington's done a nice job with long possessions, right? They've done a great job moving the ball through their sets, not taking bad shots, taking a lot of time off the clock. Essinger turns around. Look at the touch from the big man. That is a great shot that he's got, and I don't know how you could ever stop that. Essinger has eight points. He averages 11.2, but my goodness, does he look good in the post. Long three-pointer on the way from Aiden Morris, and he knocks it in. Rockets needed that one. They closed the gap to five. Yeah, Morris now with uh, five points on the night, his first basket of the second half. Now Vermillion back to work on offense, guarded closely by Aiden Morris. As I said, these Rockets could put up points in a hurry because they are a great three-point shooting team. A timeout called by Coach Vermillion. He was worried about the turnover. And with that, we'll step aside as well. 6.43 on the clock in the fourth quarter. Five-point lead for Arlington. TV44 and WOSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com. Welcome back to Arlington. Five-point lead for the Red Devils with 6.43 to go in the fourth quarter. They'll inbound from the baseline following a timeout. Only the first timeout called by the Devils. Well, the other thing with this Arlington team, too, is they don't turn the ball over. They're averaging only just over 10 turnovers a game, and so far they've got them unofficially just seven turnovers. A million dribbling up top, swings it over to Caden Russell. And you're right, Evan. I mean, this offense that they're running right now is just hang on to the ball as long as we can. Now Harris nope. up for the layup. It's good. Closes the gap to three. Can't let these guys get the ball like that. So yeah, like you said, Dar, it's good to have these long possessions, but you don't want to end them with a turnover. No. Russell to his left. Hands off to Jared Griggs, now Vermillion up top. Vermillion gets the switch. Now double teamed in trouble. Skip pass, but a timeout called by Arlington. Coach Vermillion not taking any chances as he uses his second with 544 to go in the fourth quarter. It's 40 to 37. Arlington on top. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Welcome back to Arlington where that Sprunger Insurance scoreboard reads 40 to 37. Arlington on top holding on to a lead but the Rockets having a nice second half slowly climbing back into this one. Trying to keep it a one possession game on this defensive possession. 
Caden Russell drops it off for Ryler Essinger. Now out to Jake Vermillion. Vermillion will back it out. Yeah, they're looking for the best shot they can get underneath, but they really are not moving a whole lot under there to get somebody open. They're more content to keep it out here. Essinger's pass tipped away by Harris. That's Aiden Harris. Colin Harris back into the game. He had three fouls and had to sit. But he is in, big part of this offense as well. He averages nine and a half, while Aiden averages 17.2. These are the two leading scorers for this squad. Now Russell hands to Vermillion. Vermillion to Griggs, Griggs to Essinger. Essinger up, can't finish. Wow. Big rebound by Jake Mag. Now Harris the other way, the great Euro step as he finishes at the rim to make it a one score game. Harris up to 16 points. That's Aiden Harris with the 16. Now good ball movement from Arlington. Essinger gets it inside and a jump ball possession arrow favors Pandora. Rockets doing a much better job underneath the boards on Essinger. I mean, they're doubling him up, the front and somebody in front of him, one behind him. And not letting him really get that open shot that he gets. He may have to come back out to the foul line, kind of throw in one of those little hook shots he throws. Harris passes, and Mag with the score. Jake Mag gives the Rockets the lead, 41 to 40. How about Harris though, penetrating and making things happen? Oh, we talked about it. This Rocket team can put points to the board in a hurry. Colin Harris is going to get tacked with his fourth. So he will take a seat, trying to preserve his minutes. At nine points as he goes to the bench. And it's especially tough in a physical game, right, where you're likely to be called for a foul because you're so close to your assignment defensively. Arlington back to work, trying to take that lead back. Jake Vermillion for three, no oh. good. In and out, but an offensive board. That's Brady Kin. Kin finds Luke Metzger, and now Arlington will slow things down up top. That three by Vermillion was down as far as you can get in the, in the cylinder. Essinger inside, passes to Vermillion, and a foul called against the Rockets. That's Owen Huffman. Number two against Alan Huffman, number five, five against Owen the Rockets. But just eight total fouls between the two teams here in the second half, considering the physicality of this game. Vermillion throws it over the top. Three-pointer on the way. Brady Kin. No good. Rebound. Owen Huffman. Yeah, Arlington's gone cold from the three-point range. Now Aiden Harris, and Harris is pushed. He is fouled. It looked like he slipped on the ground. Yeah, I even did. heard a little slip, but referee says foul, so it's number four against the Arlington Red Devils and number one against Caden Russell. Harris goes baseline, and he's shoved. To make it number five against Arlington. And the foul is called against Ryler Essinger, his second. Well, I'll tell you what, when Hayden, Aiden Harris goes to that basket, you really got to push him out because there's nothing else you can do. Jake Mag gets to the basket, can't finish, pass tipped away by the Rockets, and it'll be Arlington basketball. Aiden Harris tried to lobby for possession, but referee not buying it. 312 left with the one point rocket advantage right now. And like I said, Arlington has gone cold from the three point range, and Pandora's pretty much shutting down the middle, too. Essinger inside, That's quick it. fire, good. Essinger. Essinger now with 10. Arlington gets the lead, 42 41. Under three minutes to play here in Arlington. Give a lot of credit for that assist, too, because that was a nice pass inside to Essinger, and he made a nice move to the basket then. 
Owen Huffman drops it off for Aiden Morris, and now Coach Lee will take a timeout. 2.35 on the clock, and we'll step aside as well. 42-41, Arlington hanging on to a lead. We'll be right back with more after this on WOSN. Forty-two, forty-one. the score here. Arlington on top on the Springer Insurance scoreboard. A lot of lead changes here in the fourth quarter already, and Pandora looking to get one more on this possession. If this game comes down to the foul line, there's really not much difference between these two teams either. Both hitting around 64% from the foul line. Rockets trying to extend this possession. Aiden Morris with it. Morris is fouled, they say, before the shot. So that's number six against Arlington. They'll be right at their limit. Foul on number three, Luke Metzger is first. Luke Metzger's first. Ball up over the top to Colin Harris. Colin trying to find Aiden. Instead, they go inside for Jake Mag. He sends it right back out. Two minutes to play. Rockets again going to slow it down a little bit, set up a shot. Colin Harris in the corner, now up top with Aiden Morris. Morris thought about pulling the trigger, instead gives it over to Jake Mag, and he gets it right back. A good job by Metzger, get out there, get a hand up real quick. The Rockets obviously have good scorers, but those three guards are also very good handling the rock. They go inside. Morris, but Harris can't finish, but a good pass oh, wow. as nice Colin play. finds Aiden, and Aiden gives the Rockets the lead back, and he has 18 points. Just great vision on that play right there to get the ball back in the inside. 60 seconds on the clock. One point lead for the Rockets. Vermillion to the corner. Gets it back and now a timeout called by the Devils. They'll still have two remaining with 52.8 on the clock. And what a game we've had so far tonight. Arlington with three players in double figures. Rockets with just one, but pretty even scoring across the board. Very impressive night from Aiden Harris with 18 points. He's done a lot of it in foul trouble as well. And he certainly has, but not only been his scoring too, but his, his assists as well. I mean, his, his vision on the court, being able to get into the inside, get the, the baskets on the inside, at least drawing the fouls, that kind of thing. You know, it's just a great game all the way around. We knew it would be a defensive battle between these two teams. You know, if they weren't going to put up a lot of points, we knew that they were going to come down to who's going to battle it out defensively, and they've certainly put on a show there. It's been a very physical game. We knew it would be that as well. Right down to the wire between the two of them. With 52.8, you have to expect a pretty quick possession from Arlington. And if they can't score, we'll see when they decide to foul. They have six fouls. The Rockets with five. The Rockets have three timeouts remaining. Arlington with two. Now Possession arrow, by the way. Sorry, Dar. Possession arrow pointing toward Arlington in case we have a held ball. Well, it's what did Vermillion just draw up for his guys? You know, what, what kind of shot are we looking for right at this point here? It's Vermillion up top. Hands to Russell. Arlington actually running some of this clock down as they get it over to Brady Kinn. Kinn is fouled on the shot. Wow. Ken, a 72% free throw shooter. He's 8 for 11 coming into tonight. A smart move, too, by that young man, just to take it to the rock and just, you know, try to take it right inside there and, and draw that foul. Not 
sure what the issue was, but the referee's clarifying something at the scores table. I think we're going to see a rocket timeout after the first free throw. You see Coach Lee over there talking with his assistants. That one's good. And Coach Lee will take a timeout. Score tied at 43 with 32.8 on the clock. We'll step aside one more time. When we return, it's the remainder of this game, at least of regulation, right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Arlington. 32.8 seconds on the clock and one free throw coming up for Brady Kinn trying to break the tie. It's 43-43. Both teams with two timeouts left. Both teams with six fouls. Shot is up and it is good. 14 points now for Brady Kinn. Substitution for the Red Devils, number 25, Jared Griggs. Now a substitution, Jared Griggs will check in. Rockets with 30 seconds. Remember, two timeouts left for the Rockets if they get into some trouble. Aiden Morris brings it across the timeline. Hands to Colin Harris. That ball's loose on the ground. It is a timeout for the Rockets. They say oh my that goodness. Jake Mag got possession by himself just in time for the Rockets to call timeout. They'll keep possession with 18.6 left. He must have just pulled that in in time because there was a big scramble underneath there and it looked like Arlington may have been able to come up with it. But. And the possession arrow pointing Arlington's way, so yeah. it would have been a turnover for the Rockets. Instead, the Rockets will have a chance. Don't forget to tune in to Sports Report every Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around. All season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Well, this packed gymnasium is getting their money worse tonight. I'll tell you that right now. Absolutely. Colin Harris will inbound. Sends it to the backcourt. Smart play right there. He almost gave it to Aiden Morris in the corner. He would have been trapped. Here's Aiden Harris. And Harris is fouled. By Essinger, he put two hands on Aiden Harris. So Harris will go to the line, a 72% free throw shooter. My goodness, he shot 50 this season. As a team, Pandora's shot 170. So nearly one third of all free throws for the Rockets have been taken by Aiden Harris. And these are two why. big ones here. I mean, the way he goes to the basket, you can see why. This gym is loud, free throw up and good. Score tied, chance to go up. 19 points for Aiden. That's a hard fall, 19 points too. Can he give the Rockets the lead? It rolls in, 11 seconds. Vermillion's gonna tell his squad to play, nine seconds on the clock, and now Coach Vermillion takes a timeout. He's not happy that it took Russell so long to come across that timeline. So 5.9 on the clock. Vermillion, Coach Vermillion will draw up his best play. Well, do you go inside to Essinger and see if you can draw a foul of some kind on the inside? Or do you keep it outside in the hands of Jake Vermillion and let him shoot it from out there? You know. The Rockets have switched on quite a few screens on inbounds plays. So you could potentially get Essinger inside on a little down screen, have his man switch off, have him pin the switcher. It'll be interesting to see what he comes up with, but again, it's gonna come down to what the Rocket defense looks like as well when they come out there. You know, they've been fronting Essinger for all the second half, and doing a great job of keeping him away from the basket. He's only popped in a couple of them from inside there. You know, he only has four points here in the second half, but you know, but then you've always got Brady Kent out there too. But they've really gone cold here in the second half the Red Devils have from three-point line. So, you know, unless they get an open three, they're gonna really have to try to dump it on the inside and get a foul of some kind. If they don't get the basket. Oh, 
there's anything that the Arlington's going to try to do, <laughs> Rocket's going to try to to counter it. Pavilion to Russell. Russell needs to get it off. Russell with the left hand off the oh glass. Oh my goodness! In. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Caden Russell with the winner at the buzzer. It looked like he had no business shooting that basketball and with the offhand, puts it off the glass and in. My goodness, Dar. That, I, he was really double teamed on that shot. There was no way. He knew he couldn't shoot it the one way. He just kind of flipped it up there with the other one. That's the fir his, his first basket of the second half, too. He's got four points on the night. First basket of the second half, and what a shot that was. You know, hit the backboard, rolled around a couple times and dropped through. My goodness, what a game. With that, the Rockets will drop to 11-3, and 5-1 and one in the BVC. And Arlington keeps their Blanchard Valley Conference hopes alive, moving to 10-4, and four, also 5-1 and one in the BVC. What a game we had for you tonight. And Dar, obviously disappointment for Pandora, but a lot of good that we saw on that court tonight. Oh, certainly was. I mean, you know, both teams played, you know, like they normally play. They're well-coached teams. They played methodically. They played, you know, they didn't panic when they got behind. They, you know, came back. You know, Rockets came back when they had to. Arlington came back in the first half and took the lead. You know, back and forth, back and forth, and, and two well-coached teams. I mean, you know, you, you wonder what kind of play they're going to draw up there at the end. I'm sure that wasn't the one that Vermillion drew up because he had no idea. But, you know, Russell just had to get rid of it. But what a great shot for that young man. And he's going to have a, a nice night tonight when he gets home, you know, and everybody's going to congratulate him for that. You know, that's one of those things you always think about. You know, I get the last second shot and I win the game with it. But, you know, what a great game for both these teams. You know, both of them now, as you said, 5-1 and one in the BBC pursuing Liberty Benton still. And Liberty Benton still on uh, Pando Yerbo's schedule. So there's an opportunity there for the Rockets to knock off them. And we could have a three-way tie again for the BBC down the road. But what a great game, Evan. Absolutely, Dar. Want to thank the Arlington Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. Also want to thank Sprunger Insurance for their sponsorship of our scoreboard. You can check them out in Pandora and Bluffton. And as always, want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOSN. For Mia Waddle, Kelsey Beimer, and my partner, Dar Nevergall, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless.